guys are camping, they are having a little conversation when all of a sudden one guy yells, I just got bitten by a snake on the tip of my penis. The other guy says, don't worry, I'll go into the town and ask a doctor what to do. So the guy goes to the nearest town and after 30 minutes, he finds a doctor. He asks the doctor, doctor, my friend just got bitten by a snake, what can I do? The doctor says, calm down, all you have to do is suck the poison out. So the friend goes back to the campsite where his friend is lying on the ground. He asks, so what did the doctor say? The friend says, the doctor says you're going to die. <laughs> this guy walks into the bar and sees a gorgeous blonde sitting on the bar stool all alone. So the guy sits down next to her and pulls a small box from his pocket. He opens it and there's a frog inside. The blonde says he's cute, but does he do tricks? The guy says yes, he licks girls' cats. So after talking with her for several minutes, he convinces her to come with him to his apartment. They get there and she takes all her clothes off, gets into bed, and opens her legs. The guy sets the frog right between her legs and it just sits there not moving at all. The blonde says, well, what's up? The frog still does not move. So the guy leans over to the frog and says, all right, I'm only going to show you how to do this one more time. <laughs> The man returned home from the night shift and went straight up to the bedroom. He found his wife with the sheet pulled over her head fast asleep. Not to be denied his marital rights, the husband crawled under the sheet and proceeded to make love to her. Afterward, he hurried downstairs for something to eat and was startled to find breakfast on the table and his wife pouring coffee. How did you get down here so fast? He asked. We were just making love. Oh my god, his wife gasped. That's my mother up there. She came over and complained of having a headache. I told her to lie down for a while. Rushing upstairs, the wife ran to the bedroom. Mother, I can't believe this happened. Why didn't you say something? The mother-in-law huffed. I haven't spoken to that a-hole for 15 years. And I wasn't about to starve now. <laughs> Physically large guy meets a woman at a bar and after a number of drinks they agree to go back to his place. As they are making out in the bedroom, ready for the act, he stands up and starts to undress. After he takes his shirt off, he flexes his muscular arms and says, see there baby, that's 100 pounds of dynamite. She begins to drool. The man drops his pants, strikes a bodybuilder's pose, and says, See those, baby? That's 1,000 pounds of dynamite. She's aching for action at this point. Finally, he drops his underpants and she grabs her purse and runs screaming to the front door. He catches her before she's able to run out of the door and asks, Why are you in such a hurry to leave? She replies, With 2,000 pounds of dynamite and such a short Views, I was afraid you were about to blow. <laughs> As an ultimate test of his willpower, a man decided to give up for Lent. Although not thrilled with the idea, his wife agreed to support him in this effort. The first few weeks weren't too difficult. Things got tougher during the next couple of weeks, so the wife wore her dowdiest night clothes and chewed on garlic before going to bed. The last couple of weeks were extremely tough on the husband, so the wife took to locking the bedroom door and forcing the husband to sleep on the couch. Easter morning finally came, a knock came on the wife's bedroom door. Knock, knock, knock. The husband says, guess who? The wife answers, I know who it is. The husband says again, guess what I want? The wife says, I know what you want. The husband answers, guess what I'm knocking with? <laughs>
Apple worked in a pickle factory. He had been employed there for a number of years when he came home one day to confess to his wife that he had a tremendous urge to stick his penis into the pickle slicer. His wife suggested that he should see his therapist to talk about it. But Bill indicated that he'd be too embarrassed. He vowed to overcome the compulsion on his own. One day, a few weeks later, Bill came home absolutely ashen. His wife could see that at once, that something was seriously wrong. What's wrong, Bill? She asked. Um, do you remember that I told you how I had this tremendous urge to put my ass into the pickle slicer? Oh, Bill, you did it! Yes, I did. My God, Bill, what happened? I got fired. No, Bill, I mean, what happened with the pickle slicer? Oh, she got fired too, the man says. <laughs> father and son went hunting together for the first time. The father said, stay here and be very quiet. I'll be across the field. A little while later, the father heard a blood-curling scream and ran back to his son. What's wrong? The father asked. I told you to be quiet. The boy answered, look, I was quiet when the snake slithered across my feet. I was quiet when the bear breathed down my neck. I didn't move a muscle when the skunk climbed over my shoulder. I closed my eyes and held my breath when the wasp stung me. I didn't cough when I swallowed the net. I didn't swear or scratch when the poison oak started itching. But when the two squirrels crawled up my trouser leg and one of them said, Should we eat them here or take them with us? Well, I guess I just panicked. <laughs> returns home early from work one afternoon to find his wife spread out on the bed yet puffing and panting. What are you doing? The man inquires. Uh, she stammers back. I, um, I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh, cries the gullible husband. Quick, I'll call an ambulance. He runs downstairs, picks up the phone and begins dialing 911. When his son, little Johnny, appears, sobbing his little heart out. What's the matter, son? Asked the father. Uncle James is in the closet with no clothes on, daddy, replied his tearful toddler. Enraged, the man runs back upstairs, flings open the wardrobe and finds his brother there absolutely naked, just as his son had said. You better, Jim, screams the man. My wife is over there having a heart attack and you're running around naked scaring Johnny. <laughs> One day a little girl and a little boy were at the park with their pants pulled down. The little girl asked the little boy, what is that? And the little boy said, I don't know. Then the little boy asked the little girl the same thing and she said she didn't know. So that night, the little girl asked her mom and her mom said, That's your garage and you must not let any big trucks go in. Meanwhile, at the little boy's house, the little boy asked his dad what it was and his dad said, That's your big truck and you must not park it in any garage. The next day, the boy and the girl pulled their pants down again. But this time, the girl went home with blood on her hands. Her mom screamed and asked why she had blood on her hands. The girl said, the boy tried to put his big truck in my garage, so I pulled his two back tires off. 